Hey guys, it's Salt. I'm back with another video for you today. Today's video is going to be my January favorites video. I'm so excited to share these products with you because some of these products are new, some of these products you've heard me talk about before, and some of them you have seen a little sneak peek of them in my iMats haul. So I will go more in depth with some of those products that I showed you in that haul. Um, again, these are products that I've absolutely loved this last month. So. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is this name necklace that I received from my mom and my sister. You've seen me wear this in a few videos that I posted recently, but I haven't really talked about it. Um, but again, if you follow me on Instagram, I received this from my mom and my sister um, as a late Christmas gift. And it's something that I've been wanting for a while. I wanted a rose gold name necklace, and I wanted it for a while, and when I got it, I was so super happy. Um, this will definitely become one of my staple favorite accessories because I am obsessed with it. I wear this every single day. So yes, I am loving that. And I will link the website down below in the description box um, if you guys are interested in checking that out. Um, next thing is the Paris Amore Triple Moisture Body Cream from Bath & Body Works. I love the Triple Moisture Body Creams in general just because um, I do have a really, I wouldn't say it's a bad habit, but I tend to wash my hands and sanitize my hands pretty much all day long just because <laughs> it, it probably is a bad habit, but I'm just constantly washing and sanitizing my hands, so I really like to moisturize my hands. I'm addicted to hand moisturizers or hand creams, anything to do that moisturizes my hands. But I don't like the ones that leave me feeling really super sticky or oily, if that makes sense. So these are perfect for me. And this scent in particular is my favorite scent of all time. It's the Paris Amour, and I am obsessed with it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. If you guys have not smelled this yet, give it a try. I love it. So that is the Paris Amour Triple Moisture Body Cream from Bath & Body Works. Um, the next products that I will be talking about are hair products. Um, the first one that I will talk about is the Big Shampoo from Lush. You guys see me mention this quickly in my 2013s. My 2013s. My 2013 favorites video. Um, this is the Sea Salt Shampoo from Lush, and I am obsessed with this shampoo. This shampoo is probably one of my favorite shampoos that I ever used in my hair. Um, however, I won't use it like probably all week long. I go back and forth between this and my L'Oreal Total Repair 5 shampoo just because I feel like if I use this consistently it kind of weighs down my hair a little bit. Um, but I love using this w at least once a week just because it does like it, it literally strips my hair clean but it doesn't get rid of like my natural oils or anything like that. I was going to do a review on it but I figured I would just talk about it in this video. It strips my hair clean, doesn't get rid of my natural oils, it makes my hair super shiny, super healthy looking. I love it and it adds tons of volume to my hair which is why I'm obsessed with it because I have really thick hair so my hair tends to weigh down a little bit leaving my hair look, my hair looking a little flat from the top. So I really love this big shampoo from Lush because again it just leaves my hair super shiny, um, super clean, soft, like so super soft and it adds tons of volume to my hair. So again this is the big shampoo from Lush. The next two hair products I will talk about, I will talk about them together because I am obsessed with using these together. This is the Healthy Sexy Hair um, Hairspray and then the Bautiste Dry Shampoo. I do not wash my hair every single day. I wash it probably every three or four days. So on that third or fourth day, I like to style my hair and I'll curl it because I feel like the curl holds a, long, long, a lot longer when my hair is, you know, on that third or fourth day. So I like to go in with the Bautiste Dry Shampoo for dark hair. I will take my roots and I will just kind of spray it onto my roots and it adds a little bit of volume, which is what I love about that. But not only that, it kind of tends to, you know, clean up the areas where it tends to get oily. And it does not leave a white cast on my hair, which is what I love about it. I used the Dove Dry Shampoo and it left that white cast on my hair and I didn't like that. So this is a perfect for my hair. It adds volume, doesn't leave a white cast, and it makes my hair look like it's clean. So after I curl my hair and spray that in it, I will spray this into my hair. I've used hairsprays in the past and I haven't really liked the way that 
you know, different hairsprays have left my hair. I don't like spraying my hair with hairspray because I don't like that crunchy feel. I don't like the fact that I can't run my hands through my hair and it's not touchable. And then when I do run my hands through my hair after it's curled and I spray it, it tends to like leave like a white residue in my hair. Don't like that. This does not do that. It adds volume to my hair. So on top of the volume that I'm getting from this, I also get it from this. And I'm able to run my hands through my hair all day long. It holds the curl. It doesn't leave a white residue. I am obsessed with this hairspray. I will continue to repurchase this hairspray because I love it that much. Next is a um, item that, or something that I purchased from Lush just recently just recently, just recently, I um, had to order it online because in most of the Lush stores it is sold out because it has been talked about so much here on YouTube, but is the Mask of Magnaminty. I won't go into full detail of about this product just because I just received it and I just used it once last night, so I won't go into full detail because I can't really say if it's a favorite or not, but from using it last night, I really do enjoy this, so I'll keep you guys posted on that. Next is a few eyeshadow palettes that I have been obsessed with lately. Um, I will go ahead and talk about the Makeup Geek Z palette. I love this palette. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I have been trying to get my hands on the Z palette alone. Um, and every time I go on her website, it's completely sold out. I think I've tried ordering it like four or five times already and it was sold out. The day that I came back from IMATS, there was a few shadows that she didn't have at her um, booth, so I ordered them online. And then I checked just to see if this palette was in stock, and it was, and I was so happy when I received it in the mail because I have been waiting for this. It's the Makeup Geek Exclusive Z Palette, and isn't it so super cute? This has been one of my favorites, also along with her shadows. These are all the Makeup Geek eyeshadows that I own. I know I don't own that many, but if you want me to go over the colors that I own and swatches or anything like that, just let me know. These are all her eyeshadows. I know I rave about these eyeshadows a lot, but you have to give them a try. They're super pigmented. They are very easy to work with. They're blendable. I just love them. So check them out if you haven't. The next thing is the Sigma Warm Neutrals Palette. I mentioned this in my haul that I got from the Sigma booth and this is what it looks like. I just love this palette just because it's so super easy to work with. Tons of colors in here that you can create an everyday look with and you can also create like a smoky eye with these and they're fun. I love it. So I've been using that a lot lately. The next palette that I've been obsessed with, I think I've used this more than any other palette this last month, but it's the Lorac Pro to Go palette. It's just this little, you know, sleek palette. It's not so sleek. It's a little chunky, but um, that's okay because what's inside is what I love. I love the fact that it's compact. I can take it with me, and what's inside is six shadows, and I have all of these on my eyes today. This is what I used to create um, pretty much my entire makeup look. I love these shadows. You can create an everyday simple eye look with this or you can create a smoky eye with this. You can amp it up at night. I love it. Um, like I said, it's just easy. It's going to be perfect for traveling and the reason why I'm also obsessed with it is because on the other side, let's see how you can like flip it, you have your shadows and then you flip it and you have a bronzer and two blushes. And these blushes right here are very universal. Anybody can pull these blushes off. It's a pink and a coral. You cannot go wrong with a pink and a coral blush. I have this bronzer on today, and I also have the coral blush. Just a beautiful, easy, on-the-go, to-go palette. It's amazing. I am obsessed with that. The next two things I will talk about is um, one of the brushes that I picked up picked up at the Sigma booth. It's the Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. I have been looking for a brush like this that I can use to um, place my highlight right on top of my cheekbones, and I think this is a perfect brush for that. The other brushes that I have are just like either too big or they're just too tough on my skin to apply a soft highlight. This one is just perfect. I like that it's tapered. I love that it's so super soft. It just applies my highlight perfectly right here. So I have been obsessed with this. And because of this brush, I have been using the Betty Illuminizer um, highlight from The Balm. This is what the packaging looks like. I love this highlight for my skin um, color in particular just because it is like a bronzy color. Like, how gorgeous is that? I love this highlight. So um, I know she has the Mary Luminizer, but that one I think is just a little too um, too much of a white shimmer for me. This one is just perfect. So yeah, 
Again, that is the Betty Luminizer and the Sigma Tapered Highlight F35 brush. Love those two. The next thing I will talk about is a couple of eyeshadow bases. I picked up this one at the Sigma booth and it's in the color Neutralize. I have been obsessed with this. Everybody knows what happened, right? My camera cut out again. Okay, so I was talking about the eyeshadow bases. I have been obsessed with this um, eyeshadow base from Sigma. It's in the color Neutralize. I think it's just a perfect coral color that you can apply under any like coral eyeshadow. I even apply it under a bronze eyeshadow or you can wear it on its own. The consistency of this is just perfect. Like it's so easy to blend and work with. You probably can't even see that. Let me see if I can. It's right there. It's so super pretty and it has just a tint of shimmer to it, which is what I love. It is so beautiful. I will probably be picking up a couple more of these just because I love the way that they're, they don't pull or tug on your eyes. They just apply to your eye very, very well. So, love that. And then the next one I got is from MAC. It's the Let's Skate Pro Longwear Paint Pot. I mentioned this quickly in one of my other videos and if I feel like if you have the Naked 3 palette, this is the perfect paint pot to use because it is a pink color with a tint of like rose gold shimmer in it. It is beautiful. The camera is probably not going to pick that up, but that's it right there. I think that just because with the pink base to this and the rose gold like, you know, shimmer in this, it just makes the colors in that Naked 3 palette pop because most of those colors are pink or like, you know, have like a rose gold color to them. So I think that's a perfect paint pot for that. So again, that's the Let's Skate Pro Longwear Paint Pot by MAC. Um, the next thing are a few lip products. Um, I picked up two of these from the NYX booth at IMATS, and I mentioned these quickly too, but I have been obsessed with these. This one is what I have on my lips today. It's in the color Pops. Um, it's the Butter Lipsticks. And this is what that one looks like. Oh my gosh, that color is so gorgeous. I love these. They apply so smoothly. They're moisturizing. They're pigmented. They are amazing. And then I have the color Candy Buttons, which is like a pretty, like, orange nude color. It's like an orange coral color. And that is it right there. Oh my gosh, these are so amazing. And when you apply these with the NYX Butter Glosses, Boom. You have yourself a banging lip. Love those. Um, and then also on my lips I have the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Tiramisu with another product that I'm going to mention right now. I love this. This has been my go-to combo. I mean, I just think that it is a gorgeous color. That's it right there. I love this applied over that NYX Pops Butter Gloss or Butter Lipstick. The next two um, I picked up were these... Um, Jordana Twist and Shine Moisturizing Balm Stains. I am not a huge stain fan um, to begin with, but I have been wanting to try these because I've been seeing um, so many reviews on like the Revlon lip stains or I think a few other drugstores have come out with them, but I didn't really want to spend, some of them are like seven, eight dollars, and these were only like three or four dollars, which is why I was like, yeah, I'll go ahead and give them a try. And I bought two of them. This one is in the color Sweet Pink. And that is that color right there. How gorgeous is that color? It's beautiful. And the way that it stains your lips is like a really pretty, like it's not an over-the-top bright pink stain, which is why I like it. And I love applying like one of those NYX Butter Glosses just right over it to touch it up and just add some shine to the stain. It's so super pretty. And then the next color I have is um, Honey Love. And this one is super pretty too. That one is that right there. And this is what I have underneath the Butter Lipstick in the color Pops and Tiramisu Butter Gloss. So this is the one I'm wearing right now. I love these. And for like 3 or $4, you can't go wrong. And the consistency of them is really, really good. Um, they go on really well. They're pigmented. I love them. And they're moisturizing. They don't dry out your lips. So that's what I like about those. I am obsessed with them. I'll probably pick up a few more colors. But I'm not sure yet because I think the other colors were kind of like too bright. I think they did have a red one that I kind of wanted to try. So I'll go back and check them out. The last two products I'm going to talk about are the Maybelline Shine Free Foundation. I know you guys are probably like, you got you did a review on that and you didn't like it. And you're right, I didn't like it as a foundation. So I'm going to talk about that. And then this is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Concealer from Maybelline. 
These two together are like magic for me. I have been loving these two for highlighting and contouring. I picked this up in the color Cappuccino. So it's dark and it's darker. It's like a really dark foundation and I figured I wanted to give this a try to use as a contouring um, like foundation stick. So what I do is I apply the Maybelline Fit Me um, foundation into the hollows of my cheekbones right underneath my jawline and like some right here and then um, I'll just go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the color Neutralizer. I'll just apply it here, here, down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead and on my chin and I'll just blend it all together and you have a perfect highlight and contour look. It is amazing. So I've been loving these two for that. I don't typically highlight and contour on a regular day-to-day -day basis, but I do like to highlight and contour and amp up my makeup look when I'm going out at night or when I'm going to dinner or when I, maybe I'm going out to have a few drinks and I just really want that really nice highlighted and contour look. I have been loving these two for that. So if you want to highlight and contour and don't want to spend a ton of money on like a foundation stick, um, try the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Shine Free Stick. It's perfect and it blends seamlessly into this concealer. Both of these are so easy to blend and that's why I like them. So it gives me the perfect highlight and contour. So that is it for my favorites for the month of January. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you have any questions on any of the products that I mentioned in this video, just leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you on them. Again, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all soon. Bye!